My name is Dr. Marwan Alabedi. I'm the clinical head for Dr. Michael's Dental Clinic. And I'm here today to talk to you about a serious condition called diabetes and its oral health implications. Now, diabetes is a very serious and common disease, especially in the Middle East, with a prevalence of approximately 20% of adult males in the UAE, and to be honest, in the whole region. What's more alarming is that the incidence rate is increasing annually. So, diabetes, if left uncontrolled, has many serious manifestations, including heart disease, stroke, kidney and eye complications. However, one of the lesser known complications of uncontrolled diabetes is the link to periodontal or gum disease. Periodontal or gum disease is a disease of the structures that support the teeth, such as the gums and the bone. And when left untreated, this could lead to a spectrum of symptoms, including pain, bad breath, mobility or looseness of the teeth, and eventually even the loss of the teeth themselves. Now, people with diabetes are at an increased risk for serious gum disease because they're generally more susceptible to bacterial infections and have a decreased ability to fight bacteria that invade the gums. Recent research has also concluded that this is a two-way relationship in that patients who leave periodontal disease untreated could be more susceptible to developing diabetes. Other oral problems associated with diabetes include thrush, which is an infection caused by a fungus that grows in the mouth, and dry mouth, which can cause soreness, ulcers, infections, and even cavities as the saliva rate decreases. Now, saliva is one of the best defense mechanisms we have against cavity formation. Uncontrolled diabetes can also complicate some dental procedures and decrease the success rate of certain treatments, such as implants. So how can we prevent dental problems associated with diabetes? Well, first and foremost, we need to control our blood glucose levels with the help of a medical professional who may prescribe medication or advise on the diet. We also need to take good care of our teeth and gums, of course, and with effective cleaning and regular dentist and hygienist checkups at least every six months. Now, if fungal infection occurs, we need to control it once again by maintaining good diabetic control of the blood glucose levels, stopping smoking, and if dentures are worn, they need to be removed and adequately cleaned daily. In some cases, antifungal medication may be prescribed by a dentist, and good blood glucose control can also help prevent or relieve dry mouth caused by diabetes. Your dentist and hygienist are best placed to tackle any oral complications that may arise due to diabetes, and we at Dr. Michael's Dental Clinic look forward to welcoming you and ensuring you have a healthy, beautiful smile.